Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. I am here with Ashley today. Now, Ashley has worked with us for, I want to say, like the last year-ish or so, but she has went from one location to three locations in 16 months while also living two hours away from her businesses. So how in the world is that possible? We're going to find out today. So Ashley, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So I want to dive in here first and ask you, you know, before you met us, before we had worked together, what was life and what was your business like at that point? Well, uh, we were uh, fairly new at that point. Uh, we had only been open two or three months. And I think a good word for what I was doing at that point is uh, struggling. I was definitely struggling. <laughs> um, I was really fortunate that uh, a client of yours, um, it's a good friend of mine, and he uh, recommended you guys to me. And it was definitely the best advice that I could have gotten at that time for sure. Okay, awesome. So tell us a little bit more about what was going on in the business at that time. Well, I was new. I wasn't new to the restaurant industry, um, but I was new uh, to Meza, which is the restaurant that we opened. Um, so I was learning the world of Meza and also really had a learning curve uh, from my previous role. Um, before being an owner, I was a manager and yeah. I was running my business as if I was a manager. Um, so that was a, a big adjustment that um, I wasn't coming so naturally to me for sure. Okay, fair enough. And so what are the kind of things that you had to endure? I know there was a lot of travel back and forth. There was a lot of stresses around staffing. And just what are some of those problems that you were kind of encountering at that time? Well, I, I think a, a big piece of it, and this is something that I, I know, uh, I, I think you guys, really taught me um, without being mean about it, even though sometimes I'm sure you wanted to push me uh, and really just <laughs> put it out there on the table. But I really had to learn that I had to run my business. I, like nobody, nobody was coming, you know, nobody was going to fix my problems for me. And I had to learn how to deal with things um, on my own and, and for myself uh, mm. to really make sure that the business was going to succeed. And you guys really pointed that out to me without, um, you know, making me feel too bad about it. So that's appreciated for sure. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So in our work together, what are some of the biggest wins? What are some of the things that went really well? What are some of the big turning points or learnings for you? Yeah. Well, I, a lot of it is I, I really didn't know what I didn't know. Um, like I said, I was uh, in the restaurant industry for almost 20 years before this. Um, so I thought I was good at hiring. I thought I was good at the interview process. Um, I one thing I didn't have a whole lot of uh, experience with was posting job ads, which was uh, one, kind of one of the first things I really dove into with you guys is how to find the right people, um, which is just the best thing you can do for your business. Even with our second location, when we opened that location, after all the work I put in with you guys and learned so much about that process, the, the manager at my second location, she said to me, she said, Ashley, I don't know how you found these people or how you did this, but they are all phenomenal. And it really, it changed things financially. So we weren't wasting money on the hiring and training and all that um that one was a really big one for sure nice and you mentioned too like operationally things run yeah. better like you're not getting because i remember there's many times where you had to drive over two hours to put out yeah. some fire or some problem and that that doesn't seem to happen as much anymore Oh, like I was driving. Oh, I was making that drive over. We didn't open the restaurant until 11 o'clock in the morning. And I could, there'd be times where I would leave here at two or three in the morning to get there because I didn't believe that the restaurant could be ready if I wasn't in there cutting the potatoes and blanching the fries and uh, helping with the prep. And that was true at that point. We wouldn't have been able to open at 11 o'clock had I not been doing that. Yeah. And so what are things like now after you went through all of those things? Yeah. Give us a little bit of a snapshot of, of life for Ashley right now. 
Yeah, things are, are pretty beautiful, actually. Um, this past year, really, we spent building the team and building the operation. So the team, the management team, I will genuinely say I'm so proud of. And every single member of the management team in both of my locations right now are people that you guys helped me build there. Nobody was promoted from, nobody was hired from the outside. None of those people worked. We, everybody has been promoted from within and gone through the supervisor training uh, that I learned from you guys. Um, so that they all are getting the same messages and with the operation side, we built that through the ownership program, you know, the opening checklist, the closing checklists. Um, if we had something that wasn't working well, we brought it to you guys and were able to really talk it out and make things work better. Um, so now uh, like I'm genuinely saying I, I don't work the floor anymore at all. I, for, I'm worried about when we open our second or our third location, because it's in my hometown and I don't know if if I remember how to do everything because <laughs> the team, <laughs> the team does everything now. So I hope I don't look silly when we open this one. <laughs> Fair enough. And I also heard there's a two week vacation coming up. There is. Yeah. There's uh 19 of us uh, going on a big adventure to Florida and uh, we're doing a quick cruise to the Bahamas in the middle of the, nice. the Florida trip. So we're pretty excited. Awesome. Awesome. And, you know, it would be really tough to take those types of vacations when you're driving back and forth to the restaurant or getting those emergency calls and, and all yep. that stuff. So yep. I want to, I want to go over to Dave here for a second, because Dave has been working directly with you throughout your journey. And so Dave, I want to hear from you. What are some of the things that you noticed about Ashley's journey? What are some of the big wins that you've seen? What's your perspective working day to day with Ashley? Yeah, so it, it's it's actually tough to expand on anything that's already been said because she said it so beautifully and so well. Um, but it's exactly kind of some of the things that she said, which is she uh, she didn't know what she didn't know, and she was absolutely ready to receive the information. She was uh, she came in here with eyes wide open. Um, she submitted to the process, and as soon as we started seeing the results. I think it just got easier and easier to do that, to trust that process. And so being a great student was probably the best quality. Um, it was amazing. And I loved what she said about learning to take responsibility for her own business, because that was a, a key thing. Because when you, when, you know, Ashley, you came from a, 20 years with another franchise, and then you bought a restaurant in a franchise situation and some of the expectation with franchises is that we think everything is done for us and that is true to a degree there are systems there are things there are guidelines there's a lot of great things about being involved with a franchise but at the end of the day it is still your location and your business that you need to run um and, and you know and, and even when we talk about you know partners that might be off in the wings but when you're the one running that location you have to take that responsibility and i love the way that you really bit into that once we identified that um and and your learning curve was was steep and it was amazing and so um just being open to the learning process was huge um, and really utilizing your strengths, especially in building your team and building that those relationships and and making that team awesome has been just such fun to watch. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Now, so Ashley, knowing what you went through, knowing that going from one to opening up your third location in the next month, do you think you would have been able to do that? the same way you were doing things before, before you met us? Uh, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it and uh, be sitting here smiling right now, for sure. Um, <laughs> it, well, I, I really needed um, that support and help to really help get myself organized and figure myself out. Um, do I think we would have opened them? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, but um, I definitely don't think we would have had the culture um, and the environment that we have in the restaurants now. Um, I'm, I feel really good that my team can go to work and like doing what they're doing. And people don't do that in an environment of chaos. That doesn't happen. Um, so you guys 
helped me figure out how to do that. So, so yeah, I'm really appreciative of that for sure. Awesome. Yeah. I just anticipated seeing you kind of curled up in a little ball, trying to run three locations, yeah. driving around all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, I'd be, I'd be crying between each location and like, I'd be going yeah. through Kleenex all the time. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And so looking at it this way, someone watching this and saying, Hey, like, I'm curious about, you know, this company and what they do. And I like, I'm not really sure. I, I don't know how I could possibly, you know, open up more locations or get to where I want to, or I'm always struggling doing everything myself. So someone watching this in those shoes, the same shoes that you were in, what would you say to them now? I think the biggest thing I would say is sometimes you need to know when you need to ask for help. And sometimes you need an outside and somebody from the outside to look into your business, look into what you're doing, to point out the things that you might not be realizing that you could be doing better. And that like, there's some easy switches you can make to what you're doing every day that can really make a big impact um, on your business and your and your whole life. Um, so yeah, like sometimes just ask for the help and you won't regret it. Um, and even finance on the financial end, you know, it was, it was a big decision for me. Okay. Do we, uh, do we buy into this program um, and spend the money when we're a new business? And obviously, you know, lots of bills coming in when you're, when you're first getting started, do we spend the money? Well, yeah, I would spend it again for sure. Um, because in the long run, it's going to help us with our profits moving forward. So yeah, for sure. Sometimes you just need to ask for help. Okay. Awesome. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for being here. I know you've got a vacation coming up and then a brand new opening in the next month. So lots on the go, but I've been so proud to watch your journey and see the shifts that you have made as an owner. That's been probably the biggest piece of all because your yeah. team has changed because you changed. And I think yeah. that is is the big thing. So I'm proud to see what you've accomplished and I can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it guys. Awesome. All right. Well, we will see you soon. And if you guys have any questions, if you're watching this, feel free to toss them in the comments and you know, you can reach out to Ashley. I'm sure she'd be happy to, to answer some questions about what it was like. Of course. All right. Bye guys. Bye.